Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And in this one, we're talking about how to get the most value from your queen in the kill squad um, because there's a very traditional way of doing it, but there's a new kind of adjusted technique that's been getting some awesome value. And I am going to show some attacks on our bases from this war because Gunma Samurai did such a great job with this opener that I had to show some of their attacks. So let's get right into it and talk about exactly what I mean here. Basically what the idea is, um, is you're kind of doing a short queen. Um, it's called like a naked queen walk where you have a golem in front of the queen. So the queen kind of gets some value without any healers. She's just kind of standing behind the golem, taking stuff out on her own. So golem goes down, wizard's behind, the queen's gonna be dropped in just a moment. Has to make sure he funnels his queen. That way she goes the right direction because um, she's gonna meet up with the rest of the kill squad to enter the base. And um, now you might be thinking, um, okay, so isn't that golem 30 troop space? It's too much just to tank the queen to let her take out a little bit of the base before she steps up and goes in towards the, the actual location of the funnel. But you have to funnel your kill squad anyway. So that golem would otherwise just be sitting there with wizards behind it. So pretty much you're not using any extra golems that you would not otherwise be using if that statement made sense. So it's not really in investing a whole lot of extra troop space. It's just being smart about getting the most out of your golems. If you have a golem sitting there, you might as well drop your best DPS unit behind it, the queen, and let her take out some defenses, take out some buildings, create the funnel, um, and then step up and meet up with the kill squad. Um, and with like another full health golem and the king, bowlers, whatever is gonna be in the kill squad, um, very effective thing to do. Just kind of make sure you follow the queen correctly because if she goes the wrong way, that can kind of screw up the attack. So you end up getting a lot more value. Uh, there's less of the base to take out with your hogs or whatever you have for the back end of the base. As you can see in this attack here um, by, uh, forgot they didn't have the names I can pronounce, but uh, by this fine attacker from Gunma Samurai. So Good stuff, we'll fast forward to the end here. Don't want this to be a painstakingly long video, um, but we're gonna show a few more attacks. We have like a bonus attack at the end too um, that's kind of related, but I also wanna show um, one of our attacks that was pretty cool. So um, let's move on here. Next base is number uh, 20, yeah, number 20, then 22. Okay, so this next one here, similar idea. Let's fast forward to when it gets going. Um, takes a little bit. Okay, so he drops a few minions. Uh, free mortar there, might as well. Get some damage on the town hall. All good stuff to do at the beginning of the attack. And boom, a max golem comes out of the CC. There's that level seven golem, so tanky, so hard for a town hall nine uh, to bust that golem. And talking about when to use the max golem, it's best to use it when you know it, the golem's gonna be taking a lot of damage. Um, otherwise, you might uh, waste the golem by accident. So make sure you know it's gonna take a lot of damage. Um, uh, somewhat expensive to do a few loons and a haste and some wizards, but he's creating a funnel. He's taking out an entire, um, like I think four defenses down there. Actually gets a skelly trap as well in that golem. Um, not all of it, but at least part of that golem, if we can think of it in fractions, would have otherwise been used um, to tank and to create the funnel for his kill squad. So it's not like he was um, investing all that just to get those defenses. He's also getting the funnel that he otherwise would have had to do. So that golem is not a waste of 30 troop space. Um, it, part of that at least is gonna go towards the funnel anyway. Plus he gets the Tesla farm, I didn't mention that. That's like six total defenses. Um, that mini Tesla farm there at six o'clock gets the funnel and his queen meets up with the kill squad. So um, the queen, you know, if you're dropping her in the base anyway, dropping her early, earlier, letting her work for longer as long as she funnels the right way is a great way to maximize um, the benefit you get from your troops and from your heroes, which is something you're, you should always be looking to do. Um, so because he got some incredible value from this kill squad, these hogs have so, so many hogs left. Uh, I think like solid 12 hogs there, um, two golems still standing, the queen still up and has a swag heal spell. So a nice hit there. Let's take a look at one more 
and then um, then one bonus attack I want to show uh, that's related to this. So number 22, I think I said, um, yeah, this is the attack on Dax. Only one more base of ours I'm going to expose. Um, sorry if you guys were, if you guys like these base designs, but they got wrecked by these attacks. Um, so gotta, gotta show the other clan every once in a while, give them some love, because it was a good war, and they had some nice Town Hall 9 hits. Um, we, I showed a few of my hits, or of our clan's hits, in the, uh, in my thoughts on the update video that you can check out, uh, that was uploaded last. So, anyway, last attack here. I like how he kind of adapts, almost, um, to the, to some Tesla's popping, drops the queen higher up, lets her grab that, grab the wizard tower, get, you know, it's not a big one, but it's the little things that matter. Dropping the queen high up, a heads up play. I don't think this is what he was planning on doing originally. Um, then letting her meet up. So you should always be thinking, can I, is there a way I can drop my queen in some place other than when than where the kill squad's gonna enter the base so that the queen takes out defenses to both funnel herself and the other troops, as well as, um, take some damage off and get some extra value, uh, both of which is important for the overall attack. So um, the kill squad gets very deep into the base and um, stays together. The queen stays behind those golems because the funnel was good, because the golems aren't going to walk to those defenses that uh, the queen otherwise took out. So that was important. Um, that max golem still working. So at Town Hall 9, I said we wouldn't see a whole lot of max golem uh, action, but you know, that was in my last video, um, but you know, now that I watch a few more attacks um, by their side, they did utilize it, and uh, the Max Golem has a place at Town Hall 9 for sure, although um, I still like the Bowlers or Hogs. Um, there's, you know, they're all good options, depends on the attack, you gotta think about it. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on what to bring in the CC. As these uh, Max troops get more powerful, that's a bigger and bigger decision to make at Town Hall 9. So. Maybe I'll make that video as well for you guys. But anyway, uh, to wrap this one up, there's a ton of troops left up. Finishes off the base here. Um, that will do it. Let's go over to the other side of the map for one additional attack here. All the way down to number 30. Um, had to show this one by Ali. And I love the way he used the queen. It's a little bit different than what we saw in the last few attacks, but um, it's another way to utilize your queen uh, behind a tank to get some good value. So right here drops the golem, drops the queen, but you'll see the kill squad is not going to be in that area. He's going to basically attack the base from two opposite directions. Typically you don't do that because it, it allows the base to, uh, it spreads out the damage uh, or the defenses that are targeting troops. So typically spreading that out isn't a good idea, but it works out well here, and I think the queen just starts taking damage now. One thing I would have liked to have seen is on that cannon right there, a few heads up wizards or something, just one wizard take it out while the golem's tanking. Uh, don't waste that golem. You should always be looking if the golem walks to the outside of the base, what's it, what is it tanking? Can I drop wizards or hogs to take advantage of that? So the queen clears that entire compartment on the top left, then jumps over through the top, uh, through the bottom right here to get the defensive queen, get that Tesla farm. Um, great value here. The heal I like because you have the wizard towers and he wants to keep up those bowlers. You have a giant bomb. Um, his kill squad would have been pretty much wrecked uh, if it weren't for that heal. Uh, so getting some great value, better spent there than on the hogs in this situation. And because he got that entire uh, top left area taken out with his queen, he can be very patient on this heal spell. Um, these air defenses aren't gonna do anything. Unfortunately, right here, the pups come out, but he has two poisons left over, so he's just gonna save those and just use them on the pups here. Uh, but right here, the last giant bomb's going off, the bomb tower being encountered, goes ahead and just uses that heal on the reinforcement hogs, and uh, this base is toast. I think he'll poison those pups, we'll see how it, we'll see if he does it or not. Uh, there's the poison. Very nice, and that will do it for this attack. Good stuff. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it. Um, 
like I said, this is a very popular opener. Um, not very popular, very powerful is a better word. Uh, opener that I think I'd like to see us use more in One Hive Genesis uh, because Gunma Samurai did a great job taking advantage of it. You just get more value from what you're already bringing. You're already going to bring that golem um, to create part of the funnel and to enter the base. This maybe uses up that golem a little bit faster, but the value you get is worth it. You already have your queen. Um, might as well drop her earlier and get some value from her. Of course, you have to funnel the queen, invest some troops there, but the overall uh, benefit is um, it outweighs the, the extra investment. So it's a net positive. Look to do it when you can, but that's all from me. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bisectatron out.